Okay, hold on. There we go. Briefing, fly. Okay, so ceiling panel. Again, I take care of the cockpit lighting first just because it's a pain to get out otherwise. So, oh, I guess we're starting with the battery. Yeah. Okay, turn off the bad sound. That's the switch next to the yellow fuel pump switch. Thank you. Uh, fuel pump on, collective down. Very good. Hydraulics and force trim on. Okay, what again? Center uh, pedestal, uh, top right hand. Hydraulics and force trim. You can fly with either or both off. Uh, neither are required to operate the aircraft. However, uh, a real life Huey without hydraulics on basically takes both guys to be able to move the stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it does work. Uh, in DCS, you can turn it off with no ill effect because we don't need strength. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Go ahead. It's something with the MiG 19. I was saying to the guys that uh, some, the function is not working. They have uh, no hydraulic uh, for the aileron. Right. It was not working. On off, it doesn't matter. It was easy. So it sh when you turn it off, it should be like an uh, Exactly. It should be slow and sluggish to, to move. Actually, maybe DCS does model that. But it does. We, it does. It or, uh, I mean in the, in the Huey. We, we can experiment with that a little later. I almost mm -hmm. never turn that off. What I did used to turn off is a lot of Huey pilots in real life just turn the uh, uh, the force trim off and fly loose so that there's no force on the stick at all. Mm -hmm. Then it's it's not hard for them to hold in any position. It's not trying to bias them towards any position, and they just hold the stick wherever they want it. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. And when I had a force feedback stick going it was awesome i would hit that and the stick would literally go floppy but you know it's the same thing with the on the yak on the make normally when you when you uh which is not model it's uh, obviously it's when you turn so when you turn when you turn the, the stick and you let go it stay there you see in DCS, it's coming back with the control. Right. It's coming back. Yeah, well, because it's because your stick has a spring in it, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, mine, I have no center. I have no no, no middle. Oh, nice. Uh, I mean, it's special. But so normally when you fly, it's just you when you, you pull and you uh, you push, you pull. Well, exactly. So in a small aircraft, it's the uh, the air, the, uh, the, the slipstream that moves your controls to the center. So yeah. if, you're, if you're just sitting there stationary on the runway, it's only... I guess there's a bit of gravity pulling your elevator down and Absolutely. there's momentum that you're working against, but yeah, there's nothing stopping your controls yep. from moving other than that. Okay. So that was, uh, no. where were okay. we? Uh, okay. We have the battery on. Okay. The two uh, uh, electrical meter switches. Again, you can ignore them, but just to go through the proper. Uh, what well, are they? On the back? On the ceiling panel the square knob switches we move the first one one notch i did not even sure which one it nope oh those are the lights you can turn them all on uh which one uh, that's okay you can go on. continue with the ones you just had and turn up turn the rest on maximize them all yep good good and on. very nice and uh okay on the front of that panel there's AC power and uh, DC voltmeter. Again, it's, it just changes which bus the uh, the meters are showing you. So change AC power to whatever the, the first notch is, correct? And then, then voltmeter two, two notches forward. That's good. And uh, main generator cover switch down. We'll turn it on. Okay, throttle all the way up. I'm closing the doors. Which not the throttle does the Yeah, the, the throttle. 
you need to give the engine gas before you start it yep. and then and then pull it down to idle the throttle as okay. well not not the collective the throttle but i'll measure this no but actually don't talk out here not quick oh yeah we should have checked if your stick has full range of motion Okay, so let's go to throttle, throttle, da, 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 where's throttle? Okay, it works in the control. I didn't On see the bug. I didn't... I to... The page down, up and down. Huh, and it doesn't work until you crack it with that, huh? Interesting. That's not good. So yeah, throttle all the way up, and then all yeah. the way down. Okay. So it's... It's a really good point to remember that, you know, it doesn't work if I don't uh, press once on the pitch down on the pitch down. I wonder if everybody who's using an analog axis for throttle has that problem. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And we're ready yeah. for the starter switch. You can let go when we hit 40% uh, RPM. Nothing. Uh, we should. <laughs> I'm doing a keyboard too. Home. On the home key? Yep, no thing. Do we miss the... What did we miss? Um, Battery is on. Main generator is on. Uh, we don't use... It. Oh, oh! That you... The middle switch on the uh, ceiling panel, the most forward middle switch, that should be set to start. It spawns that way, but you must have clicked it. Okay, well, uh, that's the problem. Yep. Yeah, okay, let's try it again. Okay. Well, I figured that one out fast. That could have taken a while. <laughs> <laughs> rotors are spinning. Tail rotors spinning. It, I go. Yep. And now throttle up. Okay. okay. Now we want to turn our inverter to main on the ceiling. Main. Yep. Inverter, uh. inverter spare to main on that forward panel on the ceiling. Yeah. That's our main AC inverter for other way. That's the spare. There's two. <laughs> and that switch that we just turned uh, uh, to start, turn that back to standby. Very good. We are... Okay. So now I'm going to quick uh, change the curve. I'm going to put maximum curve. Curve? Yeah, the stick. Uh, do what you do so you're comfortable, but I would try to do it with linear, if you can. Oh yeah, because you know I did not, uh, you know I put the maximum. Oh oh, pitch. you have to undo it. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Do what you got to do. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fix anything that you messed up there. It looks like you got very good. Okay, that's right. So yeah, take us up into a ground effect hover, just about three feet off the ground. And again, that's that's all you need to fly. If you can hover three feet off the ground, the helicopter can fly. Little left pedal. You got it. Yeah, the team's oh. messed up a little bit. Heading right for the fuel truck. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, if we head this way, it's into the wind. And you'll feel when it wants to stir, start to fly. It'll jump up into the sky. It's pretty much just after the airspeed goes live. 
So give it some nose forward. Not too much because we're still in ground effect. And just let it build up speed. A little bit of left uh, pedal so we... There left. we go. There we go. Now it's flying. So that's all translational lift from the speed of the, uh, the helicopter. It was a trend of my stud pan. Okay. And yeah, keep your eye at all times, or very frequently, on that exhaust uh, gas temperature gauge. The lowest yeah. one. That's the no. one that'll kill you if you let it go too high. The engine will very quickly die if you over overheat. You're doing very good for a new helicopter pilot. Extremely good. Uh -huh. This is awesome. This passenger is pretty cool. Look at those details. I've never been uh, here. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting better. Again, I I don't like that. You know, things don't quite look dirty and enough and you know edges of like yeah. where where concrete meets the grass it's all a bit too tidy but and also a lot of the terrain doesn't look good up close but if Thanks you get so. up if you get up a couple thousand feet everything looks great and yeah feel feel free to put in more collective if you want i just wanted to demonstrate for you that we can fly we can, you can fly out of ground effect without any additional... I shouldn't say yeah. power, because the, there's a governor that's controlling the power. Uh, it's collective, which only defines the, uh, the average pitch of the, uh, the rotor. So you set, you set the rotor pitch with the collective lever, yeah. and then the governor automatically adjusts power to keep the RPM in range. So just by the way you fly the aircraft, it will actually cause changes in power. A lot like, uh, actually it's a lot like the uh, German aircraft with the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Commando Gerat. Gerat. Oh, Gerat. Yeah, Gerat. Like Commando Gerat. The, uh, the automatic engine controller. It's a French name. Gerat. Look at this... Uh Pretty nice. Uh. Yeah, it's cool. It's remind me, uh, you know, the World War One, uh, like the Fokker. The other one, you, you turn only right. You cannot turn left. And <laughs> <laughs> the torque. Okay, well, that's that's a trick, actually. So mm -hmm. by. Um, to enhance your ability to turn right or left, you can yep. you can make uh, collective changes, which cause cause you to yaw left and right anyway on their own. But once you once you start to get used to that, you can uh, you can use collective to help you make sharper corners. So if you're doing mm -hmm. it one way, you want to dump a bit of collective, and if you're doing it the other way, you want to add a bit of a bit of collective. Excellent. Rather than try and teach that, it's kind of best to just wait for it to click and then you won't even need to think about it, it'll just become automatic. Yeah, it's interesting to remember, you know those, uh, when you go in Norway, Sweden, you always see uh, houses, you know, like a garage or anything, it's a very really strong color, like, uh, like here. Yeah, there's good industry on this map. Also, they have something that's on none of the other DCS maps. They've got boys in the water. Oh. Which, which, if you've ever gone sailing, you know are everywhere. Navigation boys. And oh, the yeah, boy. boy yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, now, okay, we've got airspeed, that's good. I thought maybe we were 
one thing that will happen is if you uh, if you start to hover, we'll yep. lose our translational lift and we'll fall out of the sky. Uh, unless you've dialed in more collective, which I'm guessing you probably have at this point. So, all right. So, how do you do to uh, hover? Uh, hovering in the sky is really hard and not something I'd worry about practicing just yet. Yeah. First, let's work on landings. So, let's go back to the airfield. Where is it? Uh, uh, 12 o'clock. We'll do a run on landing. Uh, it's south of us. If you head southeast, you should be lined up with uh, the main runway. Right. <laughs> just, just take us out over the ocean, and then we'll come back into the west. It's like the the gauges, it's like vibrating. <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute, take me, <laughs> give me the time. Do it. It's funny. Right. Yeah, we're always talking about uh, the shake and sound. This is one of the modules that does it the best. The, uh, yeah, yeah. the MI-8 is even better. It does this wonderful shuddering when you uh, when you uh, pass in and out of transla translational lift. That's it. I mean, we do the we we do the less with turbulence, so it's like uh, uh, it's almost better model, you know. Yep. Oh, and um, maximum speed. It's probably around 120 knots, but anything over yep. 100, and you'll start to notice the retreating blade stall, which is the yep. blades that are going backwards are starting to approach zero speed as the helicopter matches their speed. So eventually yep. you get to a point where it just wants to roll over on its back. But you can get quite fast. Like, I can get it up to about 140 with the stick fully deflected to one side and still be able to fly. Nice. This is very good for your third helicopter flight or whatever it is. Woohoo! You're doing a good job of judging our rotor diameter too. Oh, 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 yeah! We. Oh yeah, you're a natural. Okay. Do a landing on this runway just like it's an airplane. That oh, really, that that's all I'm gonna tell you. Uh, other than when we touch down, make sure that you pull back on the stick. Otherwise, the rotor disc will go forward and snap off. But yep, just land it just like it's an aircraft. And yeah, we can slow down a bit. So don't touch the throttle. Oh. You can pull the collective back a bit. But uh, not so much that we lose translational lift. Keep it above about 40 knots. And try try touching down on the runway at about 40 knots. And again, once the skids start to slow us, pull back on the stick, otherwise we'll lose the rotor. This is also how you land an auto rotation. Okay, now pull back. Perfect. Couldn't be better. All right. So that's a run on landing. That's that's how I landed this thing for the, the first week and a half before I managed to get hover landings going. That's pretty cool. But uh, you're a quick study, so I think we're going to be hover landing any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and take us back up. Again, we always start in a... We always start in a ground effect hover. Well, once you get cool, you can do combat takeoffs where you just leap into the air. But I'm, I'm trying to act like real world. Very good. Air speed's coming alive. 20 knots. And yep, there's the translational right. lift. Now, to do a, a hover landing is a little bit harder because you have to bring it to a stop by uh, basically flying yeah. backwards. Oh. 
VRS, vortex ring state. If you get too slow, you start to get caught in your own downwash, which loops back around into the top of the rotors. It creates a big donut of circling air, a vortex around your okay, rotor. So land, uh, at first, it. at first, don't don't care where you land, just as long as anywhere flat. And then as you get better, you can start to try and land in specific spots. So the first job is to lose the forward airspeed. And that's the hardest part is, is transitioning to no speed. Okay, a lot of collective. Lots, lots. Yep, we... Oh. Get confused of the total... Uh, <laughs> exactly. The pitch, but the you know the stuff. Yep. Push, uh, push up instead of down. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem like uh, you know the uh, the collective bit of slow down to. Exactly. Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to. It's to remember of the brain. Yep. Um, although it is kind of j just imagine you're pulling the uh, the aircraft up off the ground. With the with the collective, so yeah, yeah. so pull, pulling takes you up and forward puts you down. Uh, we seem to still be working. I think we we had a tail strike there, but oh, no, that's good. Yeah, we did. I heard it. And yeah. also, oh, if a actually, if you look in external view, oop, we're dead now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had already lost uh, one yeah, of yeah. our. Uh, what do they call those on a helicopter? The uh, those stabilator things. Okay, let's get new ones. I'm going to switch to my own. You can respawn. Lights. Oh, and the external lights are just on the left side of the internal lights. You, you can read the switches and see what they say. Oh. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to turn them on to make it easier for you to see me. Oops. Forgetting a bunch of stuff. Uh, control C, just like a canopy. I do nothing. Uh, left con or sorry, right uh, left control C. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it works for me. Oh, Absolutely. I might have remapped it. Uh, I might be telling you the wrong thing. Let me take a look at the controls. Oh, they've changed something in the controls, so it comes up in the last mode it was in now, which makes it so you can't just hit the thing you're looking for. What? Anyway, cockpit door open close. Ah, right control C by default. Oh, and one thing I should have mentioned before is that bef as you're going into the hover taxi, because of the direction our rotors turn, you want to kick in some some uh, left pedals. 
-hmm. you'll start to anticipate that so you don't even need to think about it. That's the thing. I, I'm to the point where I don't even think about it, so I forget to remind you. <laughs> Do you continue to check this on this thing? You'll pick it up fast. As you can see, I started this guy really quick here. I have a feeling I just created a rotor head. <laughs> Good to see it was uh some. If you think this is complicated, just wait till you learn to manual start the MI-8. Oh yeah, that's that's what it's like. Really. It's it's so fun, <laughs> and again, it was it was so hard and challenging at first, and now it's just easy. So yeah, as you start to get used to flying, you'll uh, you'll start to automatically uh, compensate for torque without even thinking about it. But if you're quick on the pedals, you can do it by eye. When you see your yaw changing in a way you don't like, just yeah. just respond to it. Okay, I'm missing something. Okay, where are you in your startup? I want to press the button, the home, I uh, mean the stop button. Okay, so battery switch is on. Yeah. Um, the uh, main generator cover is down to on. Uh, you, you've got the uh, that center switch starter generator in start. Yep. Okay. Uh, fuel pump is on. Yep. And you don't need these to start, but force trim and hydraulics are on. Yep. Uh, that's that's about it. Uh, the inverter is off. Inverter, inverter, inverter. Yeah. Ceiling oh, Okay, panel. we go, we go. Starting. Cool. A whole bunch of fires coming out of your engine. <laughs> Hot start. Inverter off. Uh, where is the inverter? Okay. Yeah, off. Hoo <laughs> you're making fire. That's cool. Really? Yeah, a whole bunch of fires coming out of your engine. <laughs> it's alright. It's normal. There, the fire's out. <laughs> That's There's cool. A fuel. Yeah, just, just yeah. from the engine was basically flooded when you started. Yep. That's cool. So now, yes. once it's uh, self sustaining, bring the throttle up to full. Yep. Turn the inverter to main. Uh, start to join, start, uh, stand by. Uh, inverter, man. Okay, and starter generator to stand by. Yeah. And in the very back of that panel, uh, turn on your radar altimeter. Yeah, I don't have any labels, so when I uh, click, I just have to read the thing. I don't have labels, you know, like uh, over or stuff. Oh, the uh, tool tips? Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah. All right. Uh, you can set your radar altimeter like you like it. If It's dumb. The, the switch on the uh, left, you need to left click on to slide. And then the switch on the right, you need to right click on to slide, which is... They can't even make the same instrument have consistency of control. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and uh, the other thing is align your gyro compass to your whiskey compass with the switch in the lower left, or the dial in the lower left. until you see the circle and the cross both on the little window. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, turn on your external lights. They're on the left side of that panel where your uh, cockpit lights were. Very good. Oh, also, there's a landing light that you can turn on on your collective, and there's a searchlight. Landing and light. Yep, and there's a searchlight, and uh, you can map a hat on your collective if you like. All right, the landing light, you have, there's two things. You turn it on, and then on the collective, just below that and to the right, you click it forward to extend it. Hmm. And then the searchlight has... Uh, has a hat that controls it. And you can move it all around. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's go fly in. Hover in the ground effect. Put some left pedal in as we do. Get her trimmed for a hover. I'm hands off there. Just using my feet. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, which way? Uh, along the runway here, into the wind. Whoa, what did I do? <laughs> did you hit me? Oh. No, no. Oh, no, no. You hit me. <laughs> go is going to go on the runway. Oh, man. <laughs> no All worries. Right. I can start this quick. Are you still alive, or did we crash? No, I'm still alive, though, but... Uh... Yep, just give me a second. It's quick to start. Yeah. Whoops. It's a good 20. All right. Throttle up. Throttle down, starter switch, close the doors. Yeah, sorry about that. I think I might have caught a skid on the ground. I didn't have enough collective. Engine self-sustaining at 40%. Throttle up. Really, you're supposed to wait for it to stabilize first, but we can cheat in DCS. Inverter to main, starter generator to standby, radar altimeter on and set, and compass aligned. And I am ready to fly. It's that quick. Okay, where'd you go? You don't see me? Uh, I'm not sure where you are. Oh, there you are. Oh, you did die? We did run into each other? Yeah, yeah. You picked my uh, tail or something? Ah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm missing something, damn it. Yeah. Okay, you want your battery, your fuel on, force trim and hydraulic power. Um, you want the main generator cover closed so it's on. Yeah. You want the uh, 
the inverter spawns off, and that's where you want it. And the starter generator spawns to start, and you want it there. And that should be all you need to uh, crank yeah. it. Yeah, pressing stop. I think I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Just... This is fun. There's the fire. All gone. Woo! Oh, Whoa. you. Sp yeah, you had your collective up. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we all do that. It's mm -hmm. way too easy to do in ECS. I think you'll be all right. Okay. I put an inverter in, uh, on main? Uh, yeah, inverter to main and starter yep. generator to standby. Then your altimeter power in the back. Set your altitudes on it however you like with the two knobs. And uh, align your compass. Reset any master cautions with the reset button that's in the upper left hand corner of that panel. Upper left? Yeah, the, the, the dummy board as they call it, the, the warnings and cautions panel. Um, you'll also see on the middle of the dash at the top, there's probably a, a master caution light on. Yeah, yeah. You, you can just hit that reset switch to turn it off. Reset switch. Uh, the switch is on the dummy board, on, on the warning and caution lights board in the upper left, on the center pedestal. Okay, I'm just... Uh the center pedestal. Center pedestal, all those lights, the two rows of lights for the warnings and cautions. Test, 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 those things? Yeah, there's a switch that if you push it down, it's test, they all come on, and if you click it up, it's reset to get rid of the warning. Got it? I... Uh Reply, test. I Hello? don't see a reset. Yeah, I don't see a reset. Um, you see, it's the caution panel. Oh, it's a switch. Yeah, it's a switch. Oh, it's a switch. I thought it was a button. Okay, okay. No. Yeah, okay. Let's try to lift. Yeah, uh, you'll probably want to map that to something because it's pretty important. Yeah, the reset. Yeah. Because yeah, you want to keep your keep an eye on that uh, on the uh, on the dashboard top center. There's a a caution light that'll come on if, if anything's mm. trouble. One of the uh, one that you'll get all the time is 20 minutes of fuel warning. That's really nice. Oh yeah, and if you look at the fuel gauge, mm. you'll see it says about uh, 65. Okay, yeah. That means we have 65 minutes of flying. <laughs> okay. It's that, cool. it's that By good. By time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love that feature. They, they trust their calcul. Every, every aircraft should do that. Although, it's, it's easier with helicopters because they use a narrower power range. So mm -hmm. it's easier to predict what the fuel usage is. Okay. Let's try that again. fly out over my wreckage here over to the runway just fast hover taxi I think the worst will get a habit here is the uh, the the stick you know the up and down The uh, co collective. It's reverse and cycle. Oh. Yeah. Just again, think of it like you're pulling your own bootstraps up. 
And we're going to fly along the runway and get some speed. Oh, I'm 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 cool. Can you follow me? I can try. Fun. Okay. I'm going to take us on a little tour. The only thing I see the I see two points for me is like the yeah the, the stick and the, the trim. Yeah the trim takes some getting used to. Also we should double check your setting in the special menu. It makes so much sense. I'm slowing down to about forty knots here so you can catch up. Roger, I'm going uh eight ninety. Cool. Just let me know when you're close and I'll go a little faster. Also, I can see an external view. Whoa. There's a water pond everywhere here. It's nice. Yeah, to the, the the trim. If I press trim, it should stay. Does it? Um. What? Well, uh. Yeah. We'll have to after this flight. We'll go and check your special menu setting and make sure that's optimal. Again, there's no there's no good way to do it without a force feedback stick. Yeah. Although. I still think ED could have implemented it a little better. The way it is right now is you basically lose all stick control until you recenter after a trim. So we we start to do this very unnatural trim and center movement. That's not what a real helicopter pilot does. Yeah, I mean for me when I use this, the the trim sound uh, don't work. Also, you can uh, in that menu it'll let you trim your pedals even though it's not realistic. Yeah, this industrial stuff looks pretty good. They do a good yeah. job of that. That's a lot of beer. Yeah, I like that there's broken stuff. Yeah. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Oh, wires. Unlike the DCS aircraft, which tend to fly through the wires without too much trouble or anything, yeah. the, the helicopters will get messed up by them. Mm. Which we have wire cutters on these Hueys, so not every time, but there should be a certain percentage of the time where the wire gets cut and you actually fly through on a herb. Yeah, airplane, airplane too, some aircraft. Yeah. But they don't seem to have that modeled yet, which is fair enough. It's yeah. <laughs> if you hit a wire, that's... You see the... the alien, how do you call the, the tower there? No wind. They don't turn. Oh, I'm seeing them turning. Really? Really? No, yeah, don't. yeah. I'll show you on the video. Oh, no. I don't see that at all. Ah, it must be a, there we a go. server DC thing. We found a bug. <laughs> I wonder if Razbam will let me report bugs. ED sure won't. Yeah, they're spinning quite fast for me. Okay, I think there's a city down here towards the south. We'll follow the shoreline here. Yeah, you see the trim doesn't work. If I try trim it, 
And then it go in, nothing. What do you mean, nothing? No change? Uh, the, yeah, the trim doesn't uh, work. I see the button working, no, the trim button, but uh, it doesn't uh, do anything. Uh, it might, okay, we might have to go look at your special menu. Maybe we should do that now so it doesn't get too annoying. Let's go back and land. So I have to hold everything uh, by hand? Yeah, uh, it, but let's fix that now. We'll go back and land first, though. Where are we? Okay, almost there. And yeah, I'll let you uh, kind of follow me into a, a regular hover landing here. Mm -hmm. Might help. That is, if I can do one, I haven't been doing so great tonight. Oh yeah, right at maximum speed. She's shaky. Okay. I'm dumping the collective a bit, pulling back on the stick to compensate. The nose tends to come down as the collective drops. Trimming back. Again, forward on the collective, or down on the collective, I should say. Back yeah, that's up, that. Back on the stick to keep the nose up. A lot of right pedal. Okay, we're passing through 60 knots. Now, we're going to lose translational lift here. So, one trick is to be in ground effect before that happens, and then you don't crash. So we'll do that. We'll get to about 30 knots down here on the ground and transition to a hover taxi. So now we're just back in the same condition we were we started in. So it shouldn't be too hard to just uh, bring it to a stop and settle down. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other thing is once your skids touch the ground just push the collective all the way down. Don't mess around on the edge of uh, flying, otherwise you can get into dynamic rollover where the the skids get stuck on the ground and the helicopter tries to pull itself to the side. That was a good run on landing. All right, there you go. Okay, we're gonna go to your special menu. Okay, so hold. And uh, I'm going to leave the server running. You have to actually leave the server to do... Oh, actually, let's... Let me... Do I? This. Stand by. Uh, 